mountains of Nanshan, a remote nomadic region of eastern Tibet, 3,000 women living in hermitages and monasteries practice an ancient yogic tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. These practices have been handed down in an unbroken lineage from the 19th century teacher Sotni Rinpoche I, whose unique vision was of a tradition of nuns and yoginis who would become, in time, some of the most accomplished spiritual practitioners in the world. They didn't write books and they didn't extensively teach, and so we don't know about them. But nonetheless, I think that there were um, really a, quite a large number of uh, highly accomplished women in Tibet that we don't know about. Basically, women are considered to have a lower birth than men. But the Buddha nature of all being is the same. This is a living women's spiritual tradition, and it's still alive, and it's still really vital. They've put the teachings into practice, and they've really achieved something. Then suddenly, in 1959, everything changed. After the Cultural Revolution, everything gone. Whole monastery gone, whole nun gone. No one lives here. Then after 20 years, and they start to gather together, very typical, and then slowly, slowly, build like that. I think you can learn from nun is like strong determination. And never give up. In 2005, the third incarnation of Sonny Rinpoche led a small group of Western students to Nanshen to meet the Sonny Nanshen nuns. There is no comparison between living in the monastery and living as a person in the world. I am happiest being a nun in this life. I really honor their practice, and it feels like it's something that's very um, deep and rich here. And so the connection feels natural to me. You have to think that all beings are your mother. I am your mother. You are my mother. Everyone is ma, 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 ma and we are all connected. And now you see that all the beings are suffering. You think, I am going to take the Buddha path for them. That is why you practice meditation. What we can learn from the women here is like to put the priority of kindness and benefiting others first. Like, imagine what effect that would have. Our world would be completely transformed. This is the story of an extraordinary journey. <laughs>